let's take a look at the image adjustment tools available in Aftershot Pro. We'll start with the exposure and tone correction tools by looking at this photo here. It's got these very deep shadows in the foreground and very bright sky out in the background. So it's a tricky photo to adjust. If we take the exposure tool and brighten the whole image, the foreground starts to look good. We get a whole lot more detail down there. But we lose all that detail in the sky, which turns pure white. So double click exposure to reset that and instead use fill light. Fill light brightens the shadows without overexposing the highlights. So you get the best of both worlds, great detail in the shadows without overexposing any of the brighter parts of the image like the sky. In this photo, the sky is very overexposed while the foreground is exposed much better. Lowering exposure brings back some detail in the sky, but it also darkens the foreground making those shadows even darker. If we use the highlight recovery tool, it brings back a lot more detail out of the skies, but doesn't alter the shadows at all. You can pair that with a little bit of fill light to brighten the foreground to get an overall much better photo. The black slider here makes the darkest portions of the image just slightly darker to provide an overall better looking image. Now let's look at some contrast adjustment tools. This is a relatively low contrast photo not a lot of data out here in the shadows or in the highlights. Everything's right in the middle tones, which makes the image look pretty flat. If we grab the contrast tool and move it up, you can see the darks get darker and the brights get brighter, providing a lot more pop. We can undo that and turn on auto levels instead, which does something very similar, but much more dramatic in this case. Auto levels works by making a small amount of the image pure black and a small amount pure white and stretches the overall tone in between these two. The amount of the pure black and white are controlled by these edit boxes here. 